So Ms Moran, I've been told that I have papilledema. Can you tell me more about that, please? Yes, so papilledema is what we can see when we examine the back of your eyes. And what that can be is it can be a sign of raised intracranial uh, pressure. Now, it's sometimes not very easy to tell whether people have what we say is papilledema or pseudopapilledema. And what I mean by pseudopapilledema is that sometimes the nerve looks swollen and elevated, but in fact it's not due to brain pressure. So often when we go to the opticians and they look in through an undilated pupil, they get the impression that the nerves are elevated and that signals for them to send somebody urgently to the hospital to be evaluated. When they come to the hospital, quite often the doctors look with what we say is called an ophthalmoscope. So sometimes they're not able to put drops in the eyes and they actually look with a torch in the eyes to have a look at the elevation of the nerves because they need to confirm whether the nerve is swollen or not. If they're unsure, in the emergency situation, they often ask an ophthalmologist, an eye doctor, to come and have a look at the back it's of the eyes. It's more experience of the eyes. Yeah, and also <coughs> we've got um, sort of more useful instruments, such as the slit lamp, to be able to have a good look at the back of the eyes and evaluate whether we think there's true swelling or whether it's pseudo swelling. So some of the causes of pseudoswelling can be little deposits such as drusen at the optic nerve head. These are tiny little refractile deposits that we can sometimes see when we do an ultrasound of the eye. So we ask the patient to close the eye we put some jelly on and we use a sort of device a just bit like, like an ultrasound. Yeah, just like mm -hmm. a, on what uh, pregnant mums get to look at their, their babies. So it's sometimes a very useful way to determine whether there's drusen present or not. But sometimes it's even more difficult than that because sometimes you can have drusen as well as swelling. So you can see that there's lots of different things interplaying. So it's always important that the diagnosis of papilledema or true swelling in both optic nerves is evaluated uh, before invasive tests are done.